I don't have a vision of what I actually ended up with, okay? It, this actually started by accident. Um, I've always was into animals, you know, even as a child, but when I was 11, I saw a baby marmoset on Johnny Carson's head, and it was like, oh, that was it. I ended up working for uh, Dr. Greg Harrison and he trained me and I worked for him for about five years. I started off as a bird creator but we did all animals and uh, that's where I got into all the exotics and he actually had marmosets at the time. And I was able to acquire a pair and from there it just kind of took off. You know, you end up meeting more people that were into primates and other things. And over the years from working at a vet's office, I was constantly, you know, can you take my animal in? We can't keep it anymore. Can you rescue this bird and things like that? And it slowly just grew. Um, at one time, we were actually just called Hummingbird Acres Exotics. But in 2005, since we had so many South American species, I decided to change the name and actually form a corporation, which became the Tropical Rainforest Preserve. And we've been going strong ever since. We do educational programs at schools, uh, any uh, functions that are going on in West Palm Beach, if we're invited to them, you know, we go and we do those. And then of course we'll do small private tours here at the place. Uh, in order to fund our things, of course it is on donations for all the animals that are rescued. Uh, the only money that we do raise ourselves are from any baby birds that we happen to breed and we sell the babies. And of course, some baby monkeys. If you happen to be a monkey person out there and I qualify you to have one, uh, you know, then you know, you might be able to get a little baby monkey from us. Not everybody is, you know, equipped to take care of these little guys and just don't realize the time involved. And when people do say they are like children, it is like having another child. So sometimes it becomes overwhelming for those people or the animal didn't turn out to be quite the pet they thought it would be because you do have an exotic animal. It's a wild animal. So this is how lots of times out of the pet population out there, we end up with animals back here. And of course, any animal that does come here to the reserve, it's definitely going to stay here. Those people do not have to worry about, oh, is their animal going to be sold out to somebody? Or are we just going to take it and use it for breeding or anything? No, we don't do that. The only animals that are actually ever being bred here on the property are my own private animals. Uh, so if anybody were, you know, happened to give up one of their animals, they know that at any time they can call for an appointment and they can come and visit their animal. You know, it's always here and it, and it will continue to stay here. Um, and, you know, that's just a, my personal preference and a policy I have, you know, with people when they do release it. It's because they become very attached to these and it's a very emotional thing for them to have to, you know, give up animals. Um, we just took a monkey in last week. A, a lady has to move to California and California laws, she can't take that monkey with her. You know, that's her little pride and joy, so it's been really hard on her. And she comes to visit him, and she's coming to visit him again in a couple of days. So, so, but you know, that little guy will be here forever. They, you know, definitely go to the vets and things like that. And, and that's, uh, that's just kind of how I fell into this. And now I just have a whole place full of animals. We operate, of course, 24 7. This is not a job that, you know, you get to clock in at 9 o'clock in the morning and leave at 5 in the afternoon. My days start at 6 in the morning and preparing foods and everything. And on certain days, I'm lucky enough that my daughter, even though she got married, is willing to come back and help me sometimes. But you're feeding out everybody. Your time gets so involved with the babies, it's because you're stopping every few hours to hand feed these babies. So, I mean, your day just lasts forever in cleaning. It's constantly cleaning, doing errands, taking animals for checkups and things like that. And my day ends about 2 o'clock in the morning, our last feedings, unless we happen to have a few monkeys, which I do have here, that don't raise their babies. I'm feeding every hour or so, so and the days just never end. Now, thank you for stopping and taking the time to visit the Tropical Range Forest Preserve. I hope this short video gave you an insight to what we're trying to do here and educate people on the animals of the rainforest. 
and if you have any questions whatsoever please feel free to fill out the questionnaire on the side I will get back with you as soon as possible and always remember if your question is very important or if it's about an animal you have please don't hesitate to call immediately